in today's session uh, we'll be learning about a problem on a special type of pentagonal lamina so i call this as a special type because it is slightly different from uh, the normal ones and it is not a beta angle problem okay right so uh, we'll straight away go to the problem uh, as at the top given here it says a pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is having a side both on hp and vp the corner opposite to the side on which it rests is 15 mm above hp so you need to understand here he has not given me any inclination with respect to hp or vp so that is why i call this as a special type then how do we solve this problem which is very simple first let us discuss about uh, whether the uh, given lamina is resting on hp or vp so if i read the problem once again a pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is having a side both on hp and vp you see the same edge res is resting on both hp and vp right so it is resting on hp as well as it is resting on vp here that means to say the, it is placed at the corner it is placed at the corner of uh, the, or the intersection of VP and HP here. So it is an edge condition. Next, no angle is given with respect to HP and VP. So we'll see the corner opposite to this side on which it rests is 15 mm above HP. So when you have a pentagonal lamina, suppose if I consider this as any lamina here, it says the edge is resting on both HP and VP. So I am going to place this HP and VP, and the corner opposite to this edge is at a height of 15 mm from HP. Above HP is 15 mm, so I'm going to incline this way, right? So that is why I'm going to get the top view here or the front view here. So when a 15 mm is given, it is the front view that is given here in this, in this particular direction. So front view. So front view should be 15 mm above x y line. So let us start with the uh, first condition here, which is very very simple. You need to understand. So uh, it is its condition. It is very clear that it is its condition. So let us draw x y line and thus let's start with the problem here. So let me draw x y line. So x y v p h p. Okay. So next, draw a pentagon. So it is very clear. So it has given me twenty five mm side here. So let me take twenty five here. So. 25 taken 25 here and measure the angle 72 degrees on either side I'm marking the exterior angle here so 72 so I'm going to get 72 here and place it here so 70 So I'll extend the line at an angle of 72 degrees. So interior angle will be 180 degrees. That's all. Right. So now so I'm going to mark, I'm going to cut an arc on either side. On either side. So now taking this as the center, draw an arc sure where I'm going to get yes I'm going to get it here so I'll extend this since it is a regular polygon all the sides should be 25 okay so next let me join all the arcs here or before joining you can name it and then join it Since it lies on both HP and VP sides, I'm going to take it here on HP and the edge as the resting side here. Okay, now so let me name this. So this becomes A, B, C, D, and E. Make sure that none of the alphabets are overlapping. So now dimension this edge here. The, the given edge is of uh, given edge is 25 mm right now project it on xy line here so you know how to project it a b to xy line so which is projecting on d also here so b to xy line c to xy line here 
D it is already projected, E also projected. So now let me join this line here. Okay, it should be a dark line. Okay, right. Now let me name the front view. So if I look in this direction, if I look in this direction, I can see A, B, and C. The farthest points are D and E. So if I want to name it here, so this becomes A dash, E dash in bracket. B dash, D dash in bracket, C dash. I hope you know about this. So without wasting time, we'll further move on. Right. <laughs> He's not given me the inclination with respect to HP. Instead, he says it is 15 mm above HP. The end. This is the edge that is resting. The corner opposite this edge is 15 mm above HP. So this has to be 15 mm above HP. So what I'll do is, I'll place some arbitrary point here. I call this as uh, this point as, or this end as A dash. E dash, okay. E dash, E dash is this point, right? Now 15 mm above HP, I need to place C. So what I do is, so from the left end, I'm going to mark the height of 15 mm. Okay, this gives me 15. You can erase off the extra lines given here. So I'm making sure that. I'm going to get more space on it for the third condition. So what exactly at 15 mm draw the locus line here. Draw the locus line. Right, I've drawn the locus line. Now what is the next step? I need to incline this. So take this as the center, take C as the rotating point, place exactly at this point here, corner here, cut an arc. So when I when this C is at a height, certain height, C dash. You need to find the inclination. So what I'll do is, I'll join this, the arc and the point here, this inter point that I've taken, right? So now, also find out B dash D dash. So I'm taking center as A. So you have to place this center as A here and cut an arc to find out B dash D dash. So this becomes B dash D dash. Okay, so now let us project it downwards. So A to A. Now project it. I'll always go with the chronological order again. So A to A, B to B. So project that way itself. Do not simply project the uh, lines here. So areas of then and there itself. C to C dash Okay, also D, D is already projected vertically Now I am projecting it horizontally D and now E Simple So D is E is here so, Right, so we will find out the angle here So if I find out the angle here So let me find out the angle it says somewhere about uh, 20, 21, 22. Yes, so I'm getting 23 degrees, which is perfect. 23 degrees, you may get 22, 24, that is okay. Plus or minus 3 to 4 degrees is okay, that should be okay. Right, so now let me name the corners here and then join this. So it is A. B, C, D and E. So let me join all the points here. So A to B, we'll go with the chronological order. I'll follow this always. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A right so now this is the second condition if you can observe here this is slightly reduced this dimension is slightly reduced right so next step I call this a special type because again uh, I don't have any angle to incline here since it says it is inclined sorry it is uh, uh, or it is resting on or it is having the side both on HP and VP so I've taken this as an HP now I need to place this edge onto VP onto VP 
right so on xy line so i'll take this ae and place it on xy line draw a pentagon and project it and find out the pentagon simple very simple so let me take this as a and e which will be 25 here if you measure it is 25 no need to dimension here i'll take any arbitrary point here so let me take this or this i have sufficient space so and if i mark here it is 25 so it is very clear that uh, if i take this as a here if i take this as a at exactly at 25 it is e okay right so next i'll find out the rest of the points here so let me join this so 25 i need to join this here 10 20 25 correct so now using arc by center method i'll be finding out the rest of the points so let me take a b a b and draw an arc let's see where i'm going to get so next a to b uh, later p to e b to e or e to b okay so so i'm getting b here so similarly a to c a to c a to c i'm going to draw an arc very thin arc next e to c right i'm going to get exactly at this corner here next d to e see uh, when i say c to e it is again same that is why i have taken the same mark here next d to e or e to d e to d draw an arc next d to a d to a so i am following a simple center by arc method to find out these points it's all okay so now before uh, joining let me name this if it is a this becomes b c d and now we will join all this we will go with the chronological order here again a to b as i told always follow this method only c to d d to e okay so no need to place points here so since i'm using a new pen you can see the points over there but do not do it right so i've got the top view here i've rotated this so finally get the next condition here so project upwards and uh, find out the rest here so a a is on xy line so you need not project next project b b is somewhere here on the top so if you want you can erase the lines then and there itself no issues next we'll go with respect to c here c project upwards so project upwards here So this becomes C, now project D, D is somewhere here on the same line, so I will extend this line here, right, so now name these points and then join this, so this becomes A dash, correct, next this becomes B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash, okay, so both the edges are then the same edge A and E are lying on both HP and EP. That is what it represents. Okay, so let me join this A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to A. You also have to do this. Okay. So this is how you get the solution, which is very very simple. The only thing, only difference is you have now there. He has never given me given me the angle here. So you need to always understand the problem and then solve. So whatever the data that they have given in the question, you have to represent it in the solution. So given data is 25 and this 15 I have represented. That's all. That is the given data. I have found out the top and front view. I have drawn the top and front view. So this is how we are going to find out. Okay. So I hope it is clear for everyone. I'll be giving you some more assignments.